Hello everyone, Sam from Prism Scroll here doing another kind of stream like video creating the fairy race, kind of just walking through the creator and kind of how to use it, you know, get a little bit of experience. And if you're bored, listen to approximately 15 to 20 minutes of me rambling. All right, so uh, to get started, just to kind of go over, so you can get to the creator by pressing the bubble menu in the top left of the main character sheet window and then pressing the creator, which is the blue button. So in order to create a race, you need to know if it has any sub races and then you have to create the features first, then the sub races and then the, uh, the race itself and then the sub races because you add sub races to the race. So first we're gonna start off creating the features of the race itself and then the sub races and then we'll create the top level race and then we'll create all the sub races after that. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I am just pulling this from the website for, from uh, DND Wiki. So you can just go ahead and grab stuff from there. I'm gonna use this to easily copy and paste things into the creator here. So let's get started making the features. <clears throat> so we're making a race race. So we're gonna use the race feature, which is not based on levels. So I know that there are some features that are based on levels and we'll adjust that in a bit in the future. But for the moment, we'll just stick with the race feature and then move on from there. So let's go ahead and start putting the features into place. So um, starting off, we're gonna make the ancestry. There we go. Oh, that's already a duplicate. Never mind. So that already exists. So we're just gonna so when you see that warning, you can uh, what you're gonna want to do. Well, what you're going to want to do is kind of make it unique. So add adding the name first would make that go away unless you know that it's exactly the same. So you have advantage on saving throws against being charmed. Your magic can't put you to sleep. So we're just going to go ahead and go to the website here and copy and paste that. Oops. Oh boy. Uh -huh. Copy, paste, advantage on saving throws against being charmed, imagine can't put you to sleep, so we'll do that. And then we're going to go ahead and make invisibility, invisibility, I can't spell. Visibility done. And we'll go ahead. So you'll see that this one is based on a level. So in the future, we'll we'll go ahead and adjust this. But at the moment, um, we're just going to make it a textual reference um, to the class, which you can see in the features tab. So we'll paste that in there. This will be you can cast a vision spell once with this trait requiring number two and then gain the ability to all right moving on um then we're gonna make shrink race shrink then go ahead and copy and paste that All right. And then tiny hands feature. Oh my gosh. Very persistent. All right. So go ahead and copy that now. Copy. Nice. Tiny hands and then we 
paste that in. So you'll see that this has disadvantage on athletic checks, but you're proficient in sleight of hand. So just to give you a little uh, window into the um, what is going to really make the custom creator be great is you can add things that will do it automatically in the sheet for you. So these aren't hooked up just yet, but by putting in the work now, it will it will be all settled up later. So we got disadvantage on athletics and add. And we're gonna add a skill proficiency in sleight of hand. Add. And now when you when this is all hooked up, you're gonna automatically gain those things when you um, you know create a fairy of this race. So the fairy is based on the wings and their behavior. So we're gonna go ahead and make the four sub races or the features for the four sub races of butterfly or of fairies, which are butterfly, dragonfly, moth, and beetle. So they have some features themselves. So we're gonna go ahead and make those. So the butterfly has the feature fairy dust, 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 and that go down here. Copy. Uh oh. You. Okay, and then the dragonfly has the wee warrior feature. Wee warrior. And, whoops, no. Um, and as I mentioned in the class, the class feature video, um, I think we're, we're looking into ways of being able to make features on the desktop or on like a web app sort of thing so that you can take advantage of, you know, the keyboard. Obviously this is a little bit suboptimal trying to type this or copy this in here. So um, that's something we're looking into and hopefully we'll be able to work into in the future. But at the moment, this is what we got. So the Beetle, the moth has the studious feature. And copy. Chosen to call the path you have advantage of intelligence ch checks concerning other races or creatures you meet. So uh, we can try and see if this will let us do that. What should we do? History. Just so we have that as a reference. Add. We need to select advantage. And then done. And then finally, the last one is the beetle subrace, which has heavy. We're gonna make this unique just in case. Beetle, heavy shell. Nope. And then we will add the description. You have a plus one armor class while you are an unarmored. So we'll just type that in. Copy in that. Copy. And then we have done the hard part. Now it's just about putting it all together. So we'll go ahead and do that. Now we're going to go ahead and create the top level race. So we're creating the fairy race. And here is just kind of a description area, which you can add if you want. So basically, when you press on it, when you're creating a character, you can kind of give people a an idea of you know what type of thing you created if it's unique or just kind of a description so I think I saw something up here that kind of talks about fairies so we'll go ahead and add that just for kicks 
Um, and here I'll kind of show you as well a little trick. So right now there's no way to return in the text box, which will change. But if you want to space things out, you can just paste it into notes and add your returns and then it will make it easier to read. You can just select it here and then paste it into the text box. Oh, yep, that's fine. Paste it in here and then it will keep your, your formatting so that when you do try to read it, um, it'll be taken care of. So they do have dark vision, so yes. Speed is base walking speed, flying speed 10. That's slow. All right, it's because they can fly. They are tiny. And then their ability scores are two decks. Um, then any free skills? Let's see here. <laughs> so we did add that that feature there. So we're just gonna go ahead and add that the free skill there. So there's no selection skills. Things like Kenku and stuff like that get free skills. Um, go ahead and add in the languages. You can speak common, Elvish. It's there somewhere. There it is. And then Sylvan. Okay, armor proficiencies. If there are any, doesn't appear to be any. Um, simple weapons, like some of these things may not apply and you can just leave them blank. Um, the app will tell you if you are missing anything. So some things you can kind of skip. Um, when I think of fairies, I think of yellow, Tinkerbell. So we're gonna do that. And they are going to be that one. So here's where you're gonna add all your features that you made. So you can just search for it. We made the Fey Ancestry unique. And then we got invisibility. And then shrink. And then tiny hands. And that's all there. And okay, so we added all those. So here we are, you can review all your stuff to make sure you got it all right. Um, we will be adding a edit feature so that you can go back and make any changes if necessary. Let's say you imported the batch and it had some errors. Um, we're gonna be adding that next. That's kind of what we're working on now. So thank you for your patience. So we add that. Now if we go find it down here, we have the fairy, woo. So now we're gonna go ahead and make the sub races next because you select your um, race when you make the sub race. So go ahead and make the butterfly. And then we can add in the description. So the butterfly, the fairy race is based on the difference in their wings and their behavior. So they have a little description here that we can add for each one. Copy. And paste. Okay, and we select the race, search it up, boom. And features, this one had fairy dust. And we're done. Well, we made the first one, time for the next one. Sub race, dragonfly. Oops, spelled that wrong. Dragonfly, a little description there that we can add. So I think that these are probably the more difficult ones. The class and the race are a bit confusing because you kind of have to build the foundation with the features before you're able to make the actual top level item. So we're gonna try to make it so like if you are gonna build a race that you can make everything from there. So let's say like when you press add here, you could, we're gonna wanna do something like new feature and then it would take you to the feature thing that you you know, you can make a feature while you're in this space. So just make things like that to make it more fluid. But um, this is where we have a good starting point, in my opinion. So 
Um, let's got that done. So you notice that I'm missing the um, missing some of the ability score increases for some of these. So we're going to be adding uh, a bit the same same ability stats to this one as the race, but uh, at the moment you you can make a textual reference feature if you wanted, just so that you know to add it manually for the moment. But right now. Uh, you have to do it manually, unfortunately, but copy, paste, and then this is the moth, or if we want to do fairy, add a feature, studious, and we're done. And then beetle, is the last one. Add the description. Copy. Paste. Very. And add the last feature, which is heavy shell. There we go. And then we're done. So now if we go down to the fairy race, you have the description. You got all the stats for it. And then basically, then you have you got a little bug there. That's not good. Um, then you have all the sub races there that you created. So that's a quick little introduction to how to make a race. So basically create the features first, make the race, and then make the sub race, and then attach it to the race that you made. So um, hopefully that's been slightly helpful and we're gonna be, I'll put this on the Discord and that's kind of where people are gonna share these sort of things. So uh, let me know if you want me to create anything else just to get a reference or you know if you wanna I, I'm I'm available to make things to I'll make a video about it and then it'll kind of help me see things that I want to change or you know and then I'll share it on the discord and p other people will be able to use it as well so feel free to leave a comment or join the discord and ask for it there and then I'll see if I can get it in so thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys later